after coming off a compression. Listen. I'm hoping you can hear that. It's like a burping sound. Good morning. On the table today, I've got my Sato FA82A engine that I had just done a first run on a few days ago. And to me, it seemed like it wasn't developing peak RPM. So I wanted to, it, it seemed to me like it was very similar in response and how it was behaving to a Thunder Tiger four-stroke engine that I had many years ago that was off, was mistimed by one tooth. But the other thing I want to investigate here is I don't have the glow plug in here yet, and I've got a prop on here for this reason, is that this engine was also exhibiting some strange sound. That's strange, and I haven't been able to identify, all I know is that's coming from the exhaust side, but when I do that, I don't see any kind of other valve movement at all. So, and it doesn't happen when I'm not holding compression on it. So I don't know what's going on with that if there's one of these valve springs is weaker than another. But the first thing I wanna do here is I see here is that it's jumped out of it's jumped out of the pocket there but you know I'm feeling so in the history of this engine was such that I, I'm almost like and maybe now I should just pull the valves I ordered a set of new springs for this what I'm feeling here and I think I understand now maybe the root cause of this strange sound is that when I got this engine, it looked brand new, it didn't have compression, blah, blah, blah. If you go back and watch that video, you'll understand. The exhaust push rod was, push rod was dislodged from the rocker arm adjustment nut from the base of this thing. It was on the side. So it was holding this down like this. I have no idea how long, how many years it had been holding it down, but I can just feel a difference maybe this spring is even broken because if you look here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not see how I'm just barely even touching it and you see that valve moving in the spring and this one is much firmer so I'm gonna pull this right now I think maybe I've found the issue in fact I'm a hundred percent confident that I've just found the issue it wasn't a timing issue it could have still been no no I don't think it was a timing issue I think if you have a bad valve spring broken valve spring that's obviously going to impact your top peak rpm so i'm going to have to remove and i'd already loosened these guys up i'm gonna have to remove this and pull drop these valves out of here so i'm probably going to just get a bin my standard bin of parts and start putting all these in there and drop these springs because there, there's something wrong with this spring. It just is. I hope you can see that it's just way too, it's like it's either broken or this one takes a lot more effort by feel to even begin to depress it. So that's the issue there. So that's what I'm gonna do. This engine will be perfect once I've replaced the springs. So I'm glad I had the foresight to order a set of springs for this engine. There's our root cause.